Hey guys, Subsy Kid here with another tutorial in After Effects and what I'm going to be showing you today is how to motion track 2D text within 3D space all within After Effects uh, so yeah so basically it's all done within After Effects it's kind of like 3D motion tracking with Buju, Cinema 4D and all that except this is all done within After Effects and it's with 2D text this is one I did earlier so it's like Blue Peter time. This is one I did earlier, um, and basically, this is what I'm going to be showing you today, uh, like how to do something along these lines. So, yeah, something like that. And as you can see, it's not the best at cinematics, and I. That's it's really simple, really. So I'll just delete all of these except the cinematic okay so what you want to do first is get your cinematic I've just scaled it because it had the spectators and all that so and you want to go to your effects and presets and type in camera tracker 1.0 it's a plugin which you can just find on Google or YouTube just you know what to do so after that um, after you've got the plugin just put it onto cinematic and hit track features first and we'll do it like Buju. it will take quite a bit depending on your computer obviously and the quality of your cinematic like if it's 1080p or 720p and the frame and the frames per second this is 90 frames per second so and what you want to make sure is you want to put it on full because if you have it on quarter as you can see it goes it lowers the quality uh, the camera tracker 1.0 it actually motion tracks it from the quality of this so if you have it on quarter you can see it's a bit pixelated it won't get the full quality of all the features and all motion track retardedly so you want to put it on full so it's nice and clear and it will motion track properly so what you want to when you click track features it's gonna go like this timeline will track forward and then it'll go to the end and it'll track backwards again that's perfectly normal it's meant to do that and yeah so that's why it takes quite a bit and while it's doing it don't click anywhere on the timeline and don't minimize it because sometimes when I minimize it it stops tracking and if you click anywhere on the timeline while it's tracking it's gonna stop tracking so don't do that and just wait until it goes all the way back and then it should the it will say like camera tracking like there once that red thing's gone then it's all done so if I just hit track features you can see this is tracking forwards and then once it gets there it will say tracking backwards and just wait until it gets to the end of this red thing to disappear so I'll be back in a couple of minutes when this is done so you don't have to watch like 20 minutes or 5 minutes however long it takes it doesn't take too long so yeah I'll be right back then okay it's not finished but I'm just gonna like let you see so as you can see it's just doing it and it should just start going backwards and we're here it's going backwards as you can see it went to tracking backwards and it will just do that so I'll just be right back when that finished doing it backwards okay so it's just about done and there we go and just wait for this thing to disappear here and there so that part's done throughout the thing it might sometimes say not responding over here but that doesn't matter it, it will work um, especially like when you hit solve camera it sometimes goes like not responding just wait and it will do it so now after it's done that you can see that it's just like if you click on the effect over there you can see that's like real yeah um, and now what you want to do you want to hit solve camera and it shouldn't really take too long uh, I won't really bother pausing. It will come up with this and just hit OK. And then it should, if you just keep on waiting, it should, yeah, it will come up again. It might even do it once more, I think. Maybe. No, that's it. It might just come up one or two times like that. And you can see they've gone green and red instead of all yellow. And after it's done that, you want to hit create scene. And it will make a null object and a camera okay so that's part of the thing don't delete them because you need them and now you can see you get this null object 
So this is the null object. Oops. That's the null object there. So you can see it just comes in there. So that's the null object there. And as you can see, that null object is actually motion tracked. <laughs> as you can see, it's just like perfectly like woohoo motion track null object. And basically, you just add the text. Um, what you can do though, say if you don't want your text around this area, like you want the null object to be as close to your like where you want the text you want it to be as close to there as possible so click on your cinematic where the camera tracker is click on the effect and find the point you want so I'll just choose this one so what you do you click on it and then you so you left click on it once and then you hold down control and click on it again go to ground plane and hit set origin and it'll just maybe like lag for a couple of seconds and now you can see the null object is on that thing is on that point there so now you can see that null object is there but yeah so that's all good and my parents are shouting downstairs so <laughs> don't know if you can hear that so now that that's motion track what you want to do is click on text tool just add some text or just put subsy kit yeah and maybe just move it about there and you're just like hey it's not motion track what do I do what do I do <laughs> what you do you just uh, hit this you can see this 3d layer allow this uh, 3d layer thing hit it on your text layer and it should just like jump and it should be all motion track like so <laughs> And what you can do is if you just open up your text and then go and open up the transform, if you just like mess around with this a bit, maybe just wet, but you don't want to move the text too much in the Z space like that because sometimes it can muck up the tracking a bit. So let's go to the beginning. <laughs> so that's looking all right. And yeah that's all good and as you s that that's it really um as you can see the text goes in front of the wall i will upload a tutorial tomorrow well i'll make it now but upload it tomorrow on how to mask like a wall so that it comes behind it like uh, the thing i showed you at the beginning you could see that I was going behind it but it went kind of weird because i didn't do it properly basically what you do you just literally mask it out and I'll upload that tutorial tomorrow so that's it so if you have any problems with this or any questions just message me add me on Skype or just comment below and yeah so subscribe like maybe a favorite uh, it helps me out loads guys the more the better it will just like keep me motivated and it might sound kind of weird but I'm going for a partnership yeah I'm going for a partnership but you need a decent amount of subs to do that and they need to be active as well so yeah do that help me out guys because I help you by making these tutorials so yeah thanks for watching guys I'll, I'll upload that tutorial tomorrow the, the masking tutorial and I'll put a link to the description um, on the proper 3D motion tracking in Buju and Cinema 4D in the description and yeah so if also if you have any other tutorial requests just message me comment below or whatever add me on skype and just tell me in there just do that and i will try and make one so thanks for watching guys see ya